voters can expect more allegations to surface. Kane said, absolutely not. Joining us live to talk more about the implication on Kane are Todd Long and John Dallas. Todd is an attorney and conservative radio talk show host. John Dallas, a political consultant who uh, helped to run uh, several campaigns, including Teresa Jacobs. Guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks. John, we're going to start with you. How, how bad is this for Kane? It's not the first time these allegations have arisen against a political candidate. How bad is this for him right now? You know, at the moment, I look at it more like a... Uh, speed bump on the road, not a roadblock. I don't think it's a, as long as no other new things are coming out. I think he's going to be fine. He's come out. He's hit it head on. I think he's convincing. I think he's believable and he's sincere. And if nothing else comes out, no other allegations, I think he's fine. Well, yeah, and Todd, you have to think that the opposition, whoever it was doing the research to find this out, probably worked pretty long and hard, and they didn't even produce any faces behind this. So, so what do you think about the implications for Kane? Well, I think that Herman even said at the beginning of campaign that you're going to come across a lot of this type of stuff because he's got the solutions. It's a 999 plan that business owners of America, particularly small business owners, just absolutely love getting rid of the idea of a payroll tax, capital gains taxes and greatly lowering your personal rates and corporate rates. So he's got the passion behind him, the passion of votes behind him, and you can see he's doing great in the polls because it's very simple. He's got great solutions, so the, his opponents are going to have to attack him on the side stuff and make up stuff to try to drag him down because when it comes to a battle of solutions and who can move this country forward, Harmon Kane's got the best plan and it's pretty clear. John, let's bring you back into the conversation. Obviously, you, you would have a playbook to deal with this sort of situation if it were a client you were dealing with. What would your advice be to Kane right now? Well, you know, first, you hope you kind of kind of uh, vetted a whole lot of this when you have your kitchen cabinet, talk about any potential things that come up, how do you handle it? Hopefully you've had someone investigate your own candidate's past as much as someone else. But you know, uh, it's hard, it's hard, you never know quite what's going to be th uh, thrown out, but you, you basically immediately huddle together, talk about it, and then come out with whatever you decide is a game plan afterwards. In this case, I think they just hit it head on, which is the best thing to do. You don't want this thing to grow legs, you don't want to kind of give half answers. He came out and absolutely denied all of it, and if he's telling the truth, which I think he probably is, I don't think he has anything else to worry about. And Todd, you are you're, you're the regional director for the Kane campaign here. I mean, what are your people saying about this? Clearly, there's got to be some concern. Well, yeah, obviously things like this, and it's, it's a race like this, and you know things are going to come up. Um, but I think that's I think what John is exactly right. You got to be honest with the American people. People know that people are making false allegations and making things up all the time, so that's really not the concern. We just want to make sure that Herman Kane is always straightforward with us and honest with us, and uh, we have no reason to believe that, that these charges have any foundation. At all. Time will tell. All right, guys, thank you for coming in. John Dallas and Todd Long, thank you very much. Thank you.